Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. A remake of a recipe we did back in 2009, I believe. Oxtail simmered in Guinness. Yo, one of the most favorite recipes here and search recipes on CaribbeanPod.com. There was a request for a new version of this, so this is why I'm doing this. Plus, it seems that some of the older recipes that I've shared here on YouTube and Facebook tends to go deep into the cellar and people can't find it. So here we go, you wanna check this one out, man. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I don't want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. Got a nice heavy pot with about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Sort of a medium heat. And I've got the oxtails. You've got to get your butcher to trim it for you to cut them up into pieces because it will be pretty tough. You can't cut this with your normal everyday knife or cleaver. Dust it in just plain old flour. And that flour is, it hasn't been seasoned with anything at all. That's just flour and oxtails. The oxtails have been washed though with water and the juice of one lemon. And the reason for the flour at this point is to, it will help later on to develop some color and later on it will help to, um, to thicken up the gravy. And basically all you're doing is sort of browning it if you can. It won't be as easy to brown. Because um, what happens is the meat shrinks and the bone is what touches it for the most part. For this one here I'm going to remove this. I'm not crowding the pan as you can see. And not only are we trying to brown it, we're pretty much trying to seal the meat a little bit. I'm just removing the last couple pieces of the oxtail from the pan here. And then right away, I'm gonna turn my heat down all the way to low. All that while it was on a sort of a medium low. And I'm gonna go in with some, some onion and some celery. And all the ingredients I use here today, as always, it will be down in the description of the video. And the onions gonna sort of deglaze the bottom of the pan there. I've also got a couple cloves of garlic that I just smashed. I just wanna move that around a bit. My heat is on low, as I said. I let that sweat down and start releasing all those lovely flavors. At the same time, I have some cracked black pepper which I went in there with as well it's been about five minutes now the onions are nice and soft I'm gonna go in with about five all-spice berries or what they call fermento berries not fermento pepper but fermento berries then some concentrated tomato paste move that around and by putting the tomato paste now while the oil is still there and the pot is not too crowded with the meat and everything you're gonna get a lovely sweetness from that tomato After a couple minutes, the kitchen should have that lovely aroma, that sort of deep sweetness from the tomatoes, the tomato puree there, the garlic, the onion, the celery, and in goes the oxtail. Any sort of juices back in there as well. We ain't trying to waste none of that. We want to give that a nice little stir just to start picking up everything on the bottom of the pot there. I know there are people complaining, why he don't use a wooden spoon? Well, you know what? I'm trying to save trees. No wooden spoon for you. It's now time to crank up the heat to about medium. We're going to go in with salt. Now, I'll be using some beef stock in here. And I know the beef stock will have quite a bit of sodium. So I'm not going too heavy with the salt at this point. Later on, I'll be able to add some more. And the star boy of the show. A nice Guinness Extra Stout. This one is 5% alcohol. And you can get that, the extra stout. Yeah, that is the thing stout one. And then you just pour that in there. Oh, look at that niceness. Atta, Atta making this thing looking, oh boy, look 
that. We've got a lovely bubble happening there. So next up, this is where I'm going to go in with my beef stock now. And you really want to make sure all those pieces of ox steels are covered. I know my Caribbean people are watching this video and they're like, Chris, you ain't seasoned this thing yet, so some Caribbean green seasoning. The recipe for that is available at CaribbeanPod.com and ChrisDeLaRosa.com. And we've got two bay leaves. We've got one more thing to go in there. And to help stretch the dish for a bit more people, let's go in with some carrots. And we're going to give everything a nice stir now to bring it all together. I need some more beef stock in there though. Now you'll notice I didn't add any scotch bonnet pepper, no Caribbean sunshine in there. All that black pepper should do its thing. Because I really want that Guinness to really be the star. However, I will go in with a bit of brown sugar. And now we can give everything a nice stir. Make sure the pieces of oxtail are covered in liquid. So that is why I'm going to go in with a little bit more. And you want to bring this up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and let it go for about two and a half to three hours. No, you don't want a pressure cooker for this. No, 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 no. Please, low and slow. You get much better results. I guarantee you that. It's been going for about two hours and 45 minutes. And you can see it's reduced considerably. Taste it for salt at this point. Taste, check it for tenderness as well. Got a lovely gravy here. Now do keep in mind as it cools down, it will thicken up a bit more. The bay leaves can be removed at this point. Depending on how old <laughs> the cow is that you got the ox tail from, it may take another hour. In my case here, this is completely tender, you can see. It's pulled back on the bone quite considerably. And the very last thing I like doing, I like going in with some parsley. And that helps to cut some of the fat. And of course, you know, we're very visual in the way we eat and we look at food and stuff like that. So it does add a nice brightness to everything. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you all here in the kitchen with me. Oxtail braised in Guinness. A classic recipe, as I said, I shared back in 2009, I believe. So it was nice redoing it. Just look at a big, nice piece of... Ooh. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.